Hello friends, welcome to Mom and Me Crafts. I am Ankita and this is my first video on our channel Mom and Me Crafts. Till now whatever videos uh, you have been seeing, those have been made by my mom and uh, both of us, me and my mom, we love to do crochet and my mom does other things as well. So uh, as Valentine's Day is coming up, we thought of bringing you uh, some Valentine's Day special tutorials uh, and uh, this one is one of them. So today I'm going to show you how to make a heart shaped keychain and you can use these hearts as it is also to decorate for your Valentine's Day celebrations. So uh, let's get started quickly. So for making this keychain all you will need is a red color yarn and a crochet hook. So I'm using uh, a very uh, decorative kind of a yarn which has a metal string also attached to it so it, it has a kind of sheen to it so it will love, look even lovely so and uh, i'm using a 2.5 mm crochet hook this is a six ply yarn so i'm using a 2.5 mm hook so if you're using a thinner yarn you can use a, a, a smaller hook uh, as per your choice so let's get started uh, for this first i'll create a slip knot And once my slip knot is done, what I'm doing is chain 2. So I need to chain 2 and go into the second chain and make 6 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 and 6 so I have completed my 6 single crochets here so our uh, 6 single crochets uh, are done so this is the end of our round 1 so what I generally do is when I start my round 2 I use a stitch marker you can use a small safety pin also or a thread to just mark where you're beginning your second row so it'll be easy for you to start your third row and so on so uh, i'll show you so first now we have completed six single crochet we can count it as well one two three four five and six so what we are going to do is we're going to the first single crochet we did and we are going to start our row without any uh, joining here so i'm just going into the first stitch of round one and doing two single crochets here so these are two single crochets so just to mark that we have started here i'm putting my stitch marker in the first stitch these are two stitches in the first stitch i'm putting my stitch marker so i'll know that i have started my round two here so in all the stitches of this round as we did in this one we are going to do two single crochets in each of the single crochet we did earlier so now one two again here one two again here one two again here one two and in the last stitch as well one and two so i've completed round two see i can see a hole in here so i'm just pulling it inward to close uh, this hole that doesn't look good otherwise so my second uh, round is complete now and starting third round in third round this is the first stitch because i have put the stitch marker here i'm doing the first stitch sorry I'm going in a first stitch and doing two single crochets and again I have to put the marker back in here to know that here's where we started it so this I did so two stitches in the first stitch two, two single crochets in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch 
So this is what we are going to do throughout this round. Two single crochets in one stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. This is the pattern repeat. Two single crochets in one stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochets. Tangled. Oh yeah, so two single crochets, one single crochet, then again two single crochets here, and one single crochet here. So my round three is also done. For round 4 and 5, it's very simple. Uh, for both rounds, we'll be doing just one single crochet throughout. So, I've just removed the marker and starting my round 4. 1 stitch. 1 stitch. Again, putting the marker back here. This is very important. Otherwise, you will lose count of how many stitches you've done per round. So, uh, to, we are just doing one single crochet throughout. So, we'll meet you at the end of the round. So I have completed my round 4 now, I am just in the last stitch. So this is my last stitch of round 4, just one SC in this and then again you are going to remove the marker and start with the round 5. In round 5 also we are going to just SC all around, means single crochet all around it. So again putting back the marker and going there and doing one single crochet. One single crochet, one single crochet. So I'll meet you at the end of the round five. So uh, I'm just about to complete my round five. This is the last stitch, so I'm just doing in front of you. See, this is the last stitch of round five. My round round five is now complete. So what we have to do is we have to make two such uh, pieces till round five. So one of the pieces I've completed. So I'm just going to fasten it off. So what I'll do is I'll use my scissors to snip it off and then uh, I'm just going to remove the marker and show you just go in that and fasten this off. So one of the pieces uh, is done as you can see. So you go ahead and make one same piece uh, and then I'll meet you. So uh, I have just completed my second piece, second similar piece till round 5. So what we are going to do now is remove the marker and this one we are not going to fasten off because we are going to continue crocheting after that. So uh, what I will do is I will just take my first piece and I will hold it here and I am going to go in this first stitch and joining these two. Here, so take the yarn and crochet it so they get joined. So I'll just complete uh, crocheting. See, I've joined these two with a single crochet, as you can see, and now I'm just going to single crochet around. So these pieces will get joined. So 18 single crochets around uh, this one I'll just show you how they get joined nicely so this yarn has this uh, metal uh, thread running with it so it is a little bit difficult to crochet with it I would say the beginners should uh, avoid using such yarn because it will get create confusion and uh, yeah so and uh, the next stitch is where we joined our uh, two pieces as you can see we joined it here in this stitch so I'm going to go 
in the next stitch and crochet like this see so this will be our first stitch as you can see for the next rounds see the stitch so I'm going to put my stitch marker in here and complete this round so this round is about to be complete oh I'm sorry uh, the marker will be here because we have completed we started from this we joined it so we just went around this one and then we went around we should go around this one and then we should finish our round so uh, I'm just going to do this last stitch here and this where we joined will be our first stitch sorry this will be our first stitch uh, for this round yeah. so when I go into the second stitch I will put my marker in here this is uh, end of my round uh, 6 we have joined uh, these two pieces as you can see and now what we are going to do is we are going to snip off this excess yarn because it will anyway come inside it will be easier to see and work so as you can see we have joined these two pieces in here So next round we will uh, just complete uh, one stitch in every stitch, one SC in every stitch. So one single crochet in every stitch like that. One single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet. So I'll complete this round and meet you at the end. So I've completed this round. So this is how it looks like till now and uh, just going to remove the marker and do the last stitch and this is the first stitch of the next round one and two I've completed two stitches and I'm going to put the marker in the first stitch for the round and for the next round and we have completed two stitches of this round one two we are going to do one and two single crochets more so it is four single crochets then I'm going to do a decrease for a decrease we have to go inside like this inside one go inside second and pull up a loop so there are three loops so pull out of the three loops together so this is one decrease so four single crochets and one decrease Again, same repeat one, two, three, four, four single crochets, and one decrease. So go and pull up a loop. So there are two loops in, on your hook, and go in the second stitch, and again pull up a loop. So three loops on your hook, and pull through all three. So again, one decrease. So we will keep repeating this 1, 2, 3, 4 and decrease 1, 3 loops on the hook and pull through the loop. So I am going to repeat it throughout, throughout this uh, round 4 single crochets and 1 decrease. I have completed this round now. 
as you can see and I'm going to remove the marker and uh, do my first stitch so this is one single crochet and in this round we are just going to do one single crochet in all the stitches so put the mark marker back in to the first stitch and just single crochet all around so this round is very simple you have to just single crochet all around meet you at the end of the round so I've completed this round for single crochet all around and I'm going to complete sick and start this next round to removing the marker and I'm going to first stitch one and two and then putting the marker back in so uh, in this round we are going to do is three single crochets and one decrease so we have already done two single crochets so three and decrease decrease going to this pull up a loop going to the second pull up a loop and then pull through three loops on the hook so three single crochets one two three and then one decrease this is also called sc2 together stitch single crochet two together or a decrease stitch as we are decreasing one stitch so we'll just repeat three single crochets and one decrease so this is how our uh, heart uh, looks like till now i've completed 10 rounds and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a face so i'm going to put safety eyes uh, between rounds eight and nine so i've completed round 10 so this is nine this is eight so in between rounds eight and nine i'm going to put my safety eyes i'm going to show you I have these uh, very small uh, uh, safety eyes these are 5 mm safety eyes so you can use any size you have so I'm just going to see the placement of the eyes one eye here and at an equal distance I think one eye should go in here so I'm just going to check if it looks good enough yeah, I think it looks good. Mm, no, I think here, I think one more stitch I should skip. Should go in this one. So I will tell you exactly how many stitches you have to skip in between the eyes once I think the placement is correct i think the placement is correct now so yeah i have skipped one two three four five six stitches in between the eyes there are six stitches three this side and three this side so this is how uh, your face should look i'm going to put the washers behind these safety eyes So this is how it is done so our eyes are set now we will continue with round 11 so in round 11 again what you have to do is you have to oh i think one stitch is so we'll do it again this was a decrease stitch this just got opened so i'll show this is the last stitch of round 10 this is a decrease stitch so i'll just decrease it and start with the round 11 in round 11 i have to just single crochet all around so one single crochet two single crochet and putting the marker back on and then one two three we'll just keep on doing uh, single crochets i'll meet you at the end of this round now just single crochet around so I've completed uh, this round it's single crochet all around so uh, starting the next round in next round what we are going to do is two single crochets and in the next stitch uh, one second, just two single crochets and in the next stitch we are going to do a decrease stitch so putting the marker back on I've missed done three stitches so back so here 
two single crochets one decrease just repeat this one two two thing single crochets and one decrease two single crochets and one decrease so I'm going to do it and meet you at the end of this round this is how it looks at the end of round 12 I'm going to do round 13 now so in round 13 again we are going to just single crochet all around so remove the marker and go into the first stitch single crochet and again single crochet put the marker back on and continue doing single crochet throughout this round one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet like that you have to just continue doing single crochets all throughout this round so uh, this is how it looks after end of uh, my round 13 so i'm going to go ahead with round 14 but before that we are going to fill this uh, heart with a fiber fill because it is going to be a hard soft toy kind of keychain and uh, we are going to just fill this fiber fill so i'm going to take a little bit of fiber fill and i'm going to stuff it in the heart one side at a time so that side is done and then come to this side just reduce a little bit and then put it in with the help of your fingers just keep stuffing it in until you feel that it is enough and yeah so this is how it should look you will stuff more stuffing uh, later because otherwise we will stuff more right now it might interfere with our work or maybe let's stuff it a little bit more okay so oh, I've frogged a few stitches here so just going back in and completing this round so in this next in this next round what we are going to do is we are going to uh, do one single crochet and one decrease so take out take out the marker go into this stitch one single crochet one decrease okay then put the marker back on okay so I'm just going to do one single crochet and one decrease one single crochet and one decrease like this just complete this round and we'll meet you at the end i've completed my round 14 here for round 15 i'm going to go in and do one single crochet throughout one single crochet one single crochet then put the marker back in and just complete one single crochet throughout this round so at the end of round 15 our heart looks like this so what we are going to do is we are going to stuff it with some more stuffing because it's just about to be closed now so before we do that we'll just pull this loop I need I like to pull this loop a little bit bigger because it won't get opened when I'm stuffing it so I'll just stuff some stuffing I can use my crochet hook if my hands are not enough. 
just stuff it. You should stuff it in good amount because if you don't, it will look floppy. So we don't want that to happen. Take some more stuffing. Put it in here and just push it in with the help of my crochet hook. So I think it is good enough. And yeah, some more can go in. I'm just going with some more stuffing. So this is how I stuff my toys and uh, yeah. So we'll just pull this loop up back and we're going to do our uh, last and final round. So in this round we're going to do a decrease for every stitch. So I'll just show you this full round instead of just showing one or two stitches. Decrease. One decrease is done. I'm going to put my mark mark back in. And this is my second going into my third stitch. Like this. And then one more decrease. Go into one loop. Go into one stitch. Pull it up. Go into next stitch. Pull it up. And pull it all through. Go into one stitch. Pull it up. Go into the next stitch. Pull it up. Pull it through all three. Go into the next stitch. Pull it up. Go into the next stitch. Pull it up. Go through all three. And these are the last two stitches remaining. It gets little difficult at the end but it's doable. So, this is the last decrease. So, now we have decreased it as much as we wanted to. And we are going to just fasten it off and secure the hole. So, fastening the yarn here. I am just going to show you how to sew this hole closed. For uh, sewing this hole closed, I have my yarn needle. And I am going to... Just pull my, put my yarn through it and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to weave my yarn through the stitches. So go into the next stitch, pull it up, then go into the next stitch from down. So like this, zigzag we have to go from down, next stitch we are going from upside. Then from down next stitch from this side and then you need to pull this tightly so this is closed as you can see it's just closed so now what i'm going to do it to uh, to tie this end off i'm going to just go in any direction at the back like this don't pull it too tightly because it will just go in and create a dent here so very softly go in and out from as many places you want to to secure your uh, fastened off to fasten off your yarn so I'm just going to go a little bit more I think it's done now so I'm going to just wrap it off so this is how uh, your heart looks till now and uh, I'm going to show you how to convert it into a keychain for converting your uh, heart into a keychain what you need to do what you need is a keychain like this and uh, and I'll, you'll need a ring like this this is called a jump ring and it's easily available in the market so you'll need a jump ring so what we're going to do is we twist opening our jump ring and we're putting through a couple of stitches in here ensure it does more than one stitch so that it stays uh, for long and then we are going to put this the other end of the jump ring into this key ring and just going to push it back tightly so it stays you can also use a, a presser to press this so this is how my key ring uh, 
looks and it's done and if you want you can give uh, uh, a face uh, a smile to this and I'm going to show you that as well uh, to create a smile I've taken a black thread because uh, it is a red heart so a red smile wouldn't even show on it so I'm just going to thread my uh, yarn in my yarn needle only and then I'm going to go because I want to create a smile here so I'm going to go here like this and uh, leave this yarn tail because I need to secure it later and then go in here and so uh, for making a smile I'm going to take a thread a black thread because the red smile won't show on it and we are going to make a smile here so I'm just going to go from this side and take it out from this side and leave a tail here to be secured later and then I'm going to go into this stitch like this so it makes a smile and then I'm going to go into the next stitch like this then I'm going to go to the next stitch like this so this is how my smile will look and uh, these yarns I'm going to secure so just in whatever, whichever stitch you are right now just go into anything back anywhere back at the back and do like this and then same thing you have to repeat whichever stitch it is in go into the same stitch and take it out from any place else and same this side so you are going to secure this one let's put it off and show and this yarn is left I'm going to thread this and uh, take it out at the back at any place or it's not going to show anywhere here so this go into the same stitch take it out of any stitch don't pull it too much otherwise the yarn came off so yeah I'm going to go this stitch and off and then snap it off. So this is how my uh, heart keyring looks. It's adorable, it's easy to make and I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to our channel and keep watching more such videos. Thank you.